I know you guys thought that I wasn't turning it on. I was having technical issues, which is normal. <laughs> so I'm going to check in with everybody's body here in the studio so that you guys can check in with everybody's body here. Let me see if I can find you. Hmm. Where are we here? Is that me? Oh, no, it's the day I wore the same shirt. So Facebook changed his profile a little bit. There I am. Yeah. And so finding me is not always easy now. Leave page. Sure. Leave page. Yay, I found me. Good morning. Oh, Barbara, you're there. Good morning, Brian. All right, so I found everybody. Barbara, text in and let me know how your body's doing. A little sore. A little sore from me or from nine rounds? Both. From okay. both. Thank you for adding to the soreness. Of You're welcome. Oh, I just like leaving. Yeah, strong abs is a good thing. It is. I'm told myself, so I'm, you know, it's a great thing. Right now, it's one thing. Yes. It's abs. Good. And we it's needed good. abs for this work. Good morning. I just pushed play. So, hello. Hi. Body? Pretty darn good. I'm a little tender from yesterday's practice too. The practice we're going to do today is a lot of shoulder work. So I just hadn't done that much in a while. So I look at you, you're already shrugging your shoulders. <laughs> How's your body? I'm still stiff in my knee, but I don't think it'll be in the way of getting Okay. If you need a blanket, feel free to just get one of those for your knee, but it should be okay. Hello, darling. How's your body? Good. All right, well then let's get started. Let's see what everybody here is doing. Uh, you're now watching a live video. If you are correct, I am. And I still haven't heard from Barbara yet. Oh, nice. Yeah, everything's a little different here this morning. You guys are gonna have to give me a little lead way because Facebook changed their format. They didn't even call and ask me. <laughs> right? So, we're getting started a little late, so we're just going to get right in. Good morning, Mimi. I'm so excited that you dialed in. And I get to see you. Are you coming on Thursday or Friday? You'll have to let me know. I'm so excited. I've missed you terrible. I haven't seen you since Christmas. And my heart hurts. You're going to be the best birthday present ever. Uh, Barbara, I'm there. What are you there? As in being sore? I mean, just checking in on how your body is. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna let the chin come forward. Feel the back of the neck stretch. And rest. So I did this practice twice yesterday and just bringing my chin forward towards my chin my chin forward towards my chest, I can feel the work through the back of the neck down into the rhomboid. So it's significant work that we're going to be doing today. And let the head come up, right ear, right shoulder. So have this lengthening that happens through the left side of the body. One, two, three. Four, five, head comes up, left ear comes over. One, two, three, four, five, head comes back up. Lifting pelvic floor, pulling navel in, pushing the shoulders back. Nice tall spine all the way through the crown of the head. Set your intention here. What do you want to happen from your practice? Flexibility, strength, peace of mind, all of the above. And then we open the eyes, lace the fingers together, pressing out and up. Oh, 
almost saying, okay. Really, really tall. Now from here, we're gonna rotate to the right, tall spine. One, two, three, four, five. Left shoulder comes down, right hand comes up. One, two, three, four, five. Contract right side to come up. Back to the center, hands come out and up. And rotate to left, tall spine. One, two, three, four, five. Right shoulder comes down, left hand comes up. Nice full breath, opening through the rib cage. Feel that waistline open. Nice big stretch, three, four, five. Contract left side to come up. And back to center and extend out. Lengthening through the crown of the head, lifting pelvic floor, nice long body. Slowly, we're gonna come back up. We're gonna change the cross of the legs. Right arm comes down. We're gonna do our best. Try to lengthen through the side of the body and reach. One, two, three, four, five. We let that left hand come up. Bend at the elbow, twist it through. One. Two, three, four, five. Unwind and lengthen. And back up. Left arm comes down. Right arm reaches. One, two, three, four, five. Right arm comes up. Bend at the elbow. Twist it through. One. Two, three, four, five, and gently release. We're going to come back up, arms come behind, rotate those shoulders back, we'll lift the heart, open through the throat, lifting pelvic floor, pulling the navel in, all that fun stuff, and forward fold. One, two, three. Four, five. Hands come down as we come up and release the backs of those hands. Oof. Yes, that was my shoulder. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Release those hands down. Maybe a little shrug, a little rotation, letting everybody check in. Yeah, I see that the ponytail is kind of vying for attention today. It's like, psh thing of itself. And I put the, yeah, they're commenting about. I keep trying to put it up, it gets away. And tall spine. So you can bring those feet in as close as you want. You guys look good. Birthday girls, we're both birthday girls. And lean forward. Lengthening through the crown of the head. Are you enjoying not having girls in tow? Day one, I just dropped them off this morning. Yay for you. That's so exciting. <laughs> That's yeah. what every mom who's come to yoga this week has said. School's <laughs> back as they danced school. in to do yoga, right? <laughs> uh, three, four, five, six months at home evidently was a little too much together time. And knees come up, cross, and roll back. I think I might work a lot of weekends, that way I have two days off during the week when they're at school, just to get my <laughs> and two, <laughs> four, five, bring those knees up, change the cross and roll the back. One, two, three, four, five, bring those knees back in. Now from here, I did not turn on, do not disturb, we definitely don't want that, nor do we want it on Wi-Fi. There we go. 
And let that right leg come up. We'll have less lag time. Three. Four. Five. We're going to let that foot come down. We're going to switch. Left one comes up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Left foot comes down. We're going to drop those knees over to the left. Sitting up tall. Right hip comes down towards the floor. So we have all of these things at the beginning that's the same. And that sameness gives us comfort. It helps the brain start to just be peaceful. We have that sense of familiarity so that we can change it up and explore different muscles in the body. We bring those knees up and switch to the other side. As we sit up, the left hip comes down. Try to elongate the spine up towards crown. One, two, three, four, five. Bring those knees up, extend those legs out. Then once you have those legs out, we're going to reach forward, grab those feet, folding forward. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly we're going to come back up. We're going to take that right leg and we're going to bring it over the left. Nice and tall. Lifting that pelvic floor, pulling forward. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly we come up, foot comes next to the knee. Rotate to the right, tall spine. One, two, three, Four, five, come back to the center, grab that foot, we're gonna rock it out. One, two, three, four, five, take that right foot, place it on the inside of the thigh, right hand comes behind, and like I said, one, two, three, four, Five, butt comes down, right foot comes into thigh, left knee comes up, maybe right knee comes down. Wow, everybody got a big shot of my belly. I was unprepared to see that in color. Nice. Three, four, Five, we gently release. We're gonna extend those legs out. Nice bounce. Left leg comes across because we have so much fun to do today. And lengthening in. Now we're reaching towards the foot. Always remember that the foot is a direction, not a destination. So if you make it, great. If you don't make it, great. It's the same, either way. Four. Five, as we come up, foot comes next to the knee. Rotate to the left, tall spine. One, two, three, four, five. Coming back to the center, grab the foot, rock it out. One, two, three, four, Five, take that foot, place it on the inside of the thigh. Left hand comes behind, press down to come up. Lengthen through side body. One, two, three, four, five. Butt comes right back down. We're gonna take that left foot, place it in hip crease, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna take right knee, bend it in. Left knee comes down. Tall spine. Nice lift up. Goodbye. Breathing. Two, three, four, five. Unwind. Extend those legs out. Nice little bounce. Leaning in, grabbing towards feet. Feel that stretch. Just some small work. 
reclined to help us get into our practice today. Now, as we come up, we bend those knees. We're gonna roll back, pull them in. Arms come out to the side. Nice little rock from side to side here. We're gonna drop those knees over to the left. Nice rotation. Two, three, four, five. Pull those knees back up. Over to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Pull those knees back up. Bottoms of the feet come up, grab those heels. One, two, three, four, five. From here we release, we're gonna cross those knees, grab those ankles, pull them down and up. One, two, three, four, Five, gently release, change the cross. Pull those legs down and up. One, two, three, four, five. And pull those knees in. Nice big stretch. Two, three, four, Five, bottoms of the feet touch the floor, hands come beside the body. So from here, we're gonna press down through the feet. Now, when you press through the feet, the hips come up towards the ceiling. With the hips up towards the ceiling, we have this elongation that happens through front, this contraction that happens in back body. Don't allow the knees to come out into a V. These muscles on the outside of the body, the abductors, they run a little stronger than the muscles on the inside, which are the adductors. So try to squeeze together like you have an imaginary block between your knees. Find your breath. Let it be fluid and still. Two, three, four, Five. slowly we're going to roll down the entire back is flat so we even want that little curvature of the lumbar to be flat so you may have to try to pull that navel down towards the floor two three four five from there we pull the knees in cross at the ankles rolling up coming forward come on to Inhale the spine up and down. And up and down. One more time up and down. Flat back. Now, once we make that flat back, we're going to make a C with the spine to the right. and a C with the spine to the left. Back to the center. Now we're gonna start working on the wrists. For us to do plank, even if the shoulders are strong, the arms are strong, they're only gonna be really as strong as the wrist. We want the hands, the fingers, and the wrist to be stronger. So we're gonna start with something simpler. We're gonna take the backs of the hands and put them down so that the fingertips are facing each other. So we have some weight here. You can put in as much weight as you would like, or you can shift back towards feet, and that's going to take the weight out of the wrist. So you're just going to practice maybe leaning in, feeling that weight come down through those arms and into the forearms and into the backs of the hands, and then maybe shifting back. Just a few more breaths here, putting some weight into those wrists and then shifting back. We're gonna unwind those hands, putting the palms down, right hand comes up. From here, we thread the needle and put that right shoulder down on the floor. 
You're going to let the left hand stay on the floor, but you press so that you can rotate those shoulders. You're trying to stack them. Left shoulder stacks over right shoulder. This is giving the wrists a little bit of a break before we move through some more items. Some more poses to really make sure that the wrists are in a good place for us to practice. And this thread the needles, getting the shoulder and the torso prepared for play. Shifting back, we come to table, but this time the left hand lifts up. We're going to take that hand, thread it through. Try to get that shoulder to lay on the floor, left ear towards floor, right hand presses into floor to rotate the shoulders. Looking up towards sky, feel the work through shoulder and back, breathe. We get about 20,000 breaths in a 24 hour period. Some people more, some people less, but 20,000 is a lot. How many of those breaths did you do with intention? I know, me neither. Right? So that concentration, that intentional breathing really makes that connection in the body. We're going to gently release, shift the hips back, and we're going to come back to table. So this time, it's a little harder. We're going to take that right hand. We're going to rotate around so that the fingers are facing the knee. You can turn those toes under if that will help your kneecaps. Maybe you have a blanket underneath them. We're going to let that left hand rotate around. So this is significant, especially in the forearm. If you've been at home, working from home with COVID, and you've been on the computer a lot, you're really going to feel the difference here in those wrists and hands. Three, four, and five. Now, how are we going to come out of this? We're going to come out of it in the order that we went in. So we're going to unwind that right hand first. Then we're going to unwind that right hand, left hand. Shift back into a child's pose. Again, you can flatten your feet, but we're going to bring those elbows up and we're going to lace the fingers together. From here, we're going to do figure eights with the wrists. Right? And the hardest part of the whole class is trying to reverse this figure eight. So now reverse the figure eight. Your brain doesn't want to go in one direction. Just getting mobility in those wrists, getting inflammation out of them, and shake them, release. All right, so here's the big one. So I'm gonna turn to face camera, face you guys for a second. When we go to do this posture, first, let's talk about the eye of the elbow. So where the elbow bends here, that's called the eye of the elbow. When we're here, typically because of our shoulder and flexibility, our arms are like this, right? We are not turning that part forward. I want you to right now at home or here in the studio, practice just forward and in, forward, in, forward, in, forward, in. You notice that you can move this part of your arm. You don't have to move your hands. We're able to do this movement. We're generated from here but we have the radius and ulna here, which helps with rotation in the wrist, right? That's the same reason that we have the tibia and the fibia down here, and we can move that ankle around. So what we're gonna try to do in our next one is we're putting the back of the hand down, but when we put the back of the hand down, we tend to bend the elbow out. We look like a little bit of a gorilla. We're gonna to want to straighten that arm. And when we straighten, we turn this in to protect because we're trying to use these arm, the muscles up here to protect but we're gonna to try to rotate that elbow forward, all right? So I'm gonna get in this position so hopefully you guys at home can see what we're doing. We're gonna take the back of the right hand, put it down, fingertips are coming towards knee. Left hand, fingertips down and towards knee. Now when you first get here, what happens? Elbows are bent, it's okay. We're gonna to try to straighten them. Get the back of the hand down on the floor. A lot of people don't think about it and they come into protection mode and they're up on their knuckles. We want the back of the hand all the way down. Now try to turn the eyes of those elbows forward and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Gently release those elbows first. Then the right palm comes down. Then the left palm comes down. We immediately go into down dog. 
The down dog is like that companion posture. It's the reverse pose for this. We've done the work we needed for those wrists to really, really get deep into the practice. Maybe you bend and stretch with those knees. Bend the knees looking forward. We're gonna step forward, fingertips flat back. Forward folding, inhale all the way up. Hands come down. And release a little bit. Are we good? Yes. Yes? Wrists, arms? <laughs> okay. So we're going to be doing some standing postures. I want you guys at home or here as well to think about a, a photo. So let's say you have a class photo. Somebody graduated. Class photo. Twelve people in it with a diploma. So you can look at that as a whole or you can crop photos, right? So that you can have couples or singles or just the head or just the body or just the diploma. But the picture is still the same. We're going to be going through a flow class and you're going to say, I don't see how this is plank. The focus is going to be on the plank in between the standing postures. So we're going to be doing standing postures, but that's to give balance and a grounded nature to the practice before you leave. We don't want just the wrists and shoulders to feel heavy. We want the rest of the body to feel engaged too. So you'll see that I'm not giving as much attention to the standing postures as I am the fun little bits in between. All right. So we're going to come to the front and inhale up. Exhale, forward folding. Fingertips flat back. Forward fold, bend the knees, send right foot back. We're going to ground that right foot. Once we ground that right foot, we're going to slowly come up for your one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five hands slowly come down. So that very first plank is just a plain old normal plank. So we're going to rotate to the ball of that right foot. We're going to step back to plank. Now we're pushing through the heels. We're trying to fill in lower back. We want to try to be as nice and straight as we can. So what typically happens in plank is we either have the butt lift or the butt sinks. Three. Four, five, knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra. Downward dog. Nice lengthening, stretching, bending, feeling comfortable, feeling grounded. Right foot travels forward. Coming up into warrior one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five hands slowly come down to the floor. Come to the ball of left foot. We step forward, fingertips flat back. Forward fold, looking at the knees, not your feet. Maybe give your head a shake no and a shake yes. And we inhale all the way up. Hands come down. And gently release. So you saw that the focus was on the plank. We're going to continue to do that. So this time when we come through, we're going to work on a supported side plank, which means the knee will go down. So if you need the blanket, make sure it's close through your pad. Inhaling up. Exhale, forward folding. Fingertips flat back. Forward fold, soft bend knees, and right foot back, grounding right foot. Now once you ground that right foot, we're going to cartwheel up into warrior two. One, two, three, four, five. Will you allow those hands to come down towards floor? We're going to come to the ball of right foot as we step back to plank. Now, we're going to work on that supported side plank. So we're in plank. What do we do? We allow right knee to come down. Once right knee comes down, we kick out right foot. Notice it comes off my mat. 
That is to allow me to have better supports, almost like a kickstand on a bicycle. Rotate into supported side plank. Lift the left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Left hand comes down, left knee comes down. We're gonna return back to plank. So we feel that work, we have that activity in shoulder. We put left knee down, kick left foot out. Extend right arm up, lift right leg. One, two, three, four, five. We allow right hand to come down, right knee to come down. Now from here, it's a chest and chin because the knees are already down. Let the feet help you, flatten out. Soften the feet, lift the chest, opening through the heart, and one, two, three, four, five, chest slowly comes down. From here, we're gonna press to table. From table to down dog, bending and stretching. Lengthening through the shoulders, filling in lower back. We're broadening the back, and you can broaden through the shoulders by using that same technique of trying to turn the eyes of the elbows forward, which creates this rolling out of the upper of the humerus where it connects into the shoulder. And we bend the knees, looking forward. We're going to step forward, fingertips flat back. Forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Hands come down. Release. We're doing pretty well, yes. So the next time through, we're gonna do that full side plank. If side plank is difficult for you, you can repeat the one we just did by putting the knee down. Here we go, inhale up. Exhale, forward folding. Fingertips flat back. Forward fold. Step that right foot back. Cartwheel up into warrior two. From warrior two, left elbow comes down, right arm comes over. Hips forward, shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five. We allow that right hand to slowly come down. Come to the ball of right foot. We're going to step back into plank. Now from this plank, we're going to rotate over. Onto right side, left arm comes up. One. Two, remember, you can put that right knee down if you need it to. Four. Five, we allow left palm to come down, return back to plank. Left side plank, so we ground that foot, stack right foot, let right arm come up. There's a contraction on left side of body, a lifting on right side of body, three. Where's your breath? Four, good job everybody. Five, top hand comes down, we're in a plank from here, knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Up, we're dog or cobra. Turning those toes maybe, coming into down dog, bend and stretch. Lengthen through the spine, filling in lower back. Bending the knees, looking forward, right leg comes forward, grounding back foot. Cartwheel up into warrior two. Hanging out a little bit here. We might have missed it on the other side last time. Two, three, four, five. We're gonna come right on over. Lengthening through side body, hips forward, shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five. We allow those hands to come down. We're gonna come to the ball of that left foot and step forward, fingertips flat back. Forward fold, now when you come in that forward fold, you're gonna look straight at your knees, not at your feet. We're gonna give the head a shake, no one, yes. Inhaling all the way up. Hands come down. Nice work, everybody. All right, how you doing? Great. Good? All right, so the wrists are getting tired, yes? yes. So we're gonna to move to forearm work. So the first time through, we're just going to practice 
our dolphin, just to practice getting in here. So there's no plank, just dolphin. But we're gonna move with dolphin so we get rotation in the shoulder. Inhaling up. Exhaling forward fold. Fingertips, flat back. Forward fold, soft bend the knees. We send right foot back, grounding that right foot. Cartwheel up into warrior two. Back hand, which is your right hand, comes around. We're going to put that elbow on the knee, put the palms together, look at left elbow. Nice rotation, lifting pelvic floor, extending through crown of head, two, three, four, five. Hands come down to the floor, come to the ball of that foot as we step back to plank. Now here's the part that's going to be a little challenging for your plank into dolphin, is from plank, we're going to put that left forearm down, then that right forearm down, let your booty come up, lace the fingers together. You may want to walk your toes in just a bit for some comfort. We're hanging here. Your elbow should be close enough in that your head really doesn't rest on the floor. It might hover on the floor just a bit. Two, lift in your belly, three, four, five. We're gonna let the shoulders migrate forward just a bit. And we're gonna let the face hover over the hands. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna press back, hanging out in between those elbows. One, two, three, four, five. Coming back forward, hanging out over those hands. One, two, three, four, five. Now, as we push back into dolphin this time, we're going to put those knees down. Then we're going to come back to the palms. Chest and chin. Let the belly come down so that we can finish the fun little bits in the middle. Let that chest lift up, open through the heart. We definitely feel the forearms talking, maybe the shoulders. By opening through this chest, we're opening through those pectorals, those places that might be getting tight, we're letting them open. We're contracting through the rhomboids, those muscles between the shoulder blades, and we're smiling because we have muscles there. Remember to breathe. We allow the head to come down. We're going to press through the palms to come to table. From table, turning those toes, coming into down dog, elongating through the spine, maybe trying to turn the eyes of those elbows up. Where's your breath? Feel grounded through the hands. Remember back to the intention that you set at the beginning of class. Soft bend the knees, allow right leg to come forward, grounding back foot. Cartwheel up into warrior two. Back arm, which is your left, comes around. Palms together. One, two, three, four, five. Hands come down to floor. Come to ball of left foot as we step forward. Fingertips flat back. Forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Hands come down. Walk it out. Yes. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> I like it when I get thumbs up. All right, so this time through, we are going to be working on forearm plank. Just the plank, all right? So that's, we practiced moving, right? So the shoulder's ready. But in dolphin, the hands are here. Forearm plank, the hands are here. It makes a difference. So when you're teaching a, a kid to ski, snow ski, I have never been snow skiing or water skiing. So I have never broken my legs. <laughs> but I have been told that when you're teaching a kid to ski, French fries get you going, pizza gets you to stop, right? French fries, pizza, everything's about food for me, which you guys know. So dolphin, the arms are here, 
forearm, it's here, this is harder. We want to try to open and lift through collarbones. Don't dump in the shoulder because you'll want to do this, okay? Inhale, up. Exhale, forward fold. Fingertips flat back. Forward folding, soft bend knee, send right foot back, rounding that right foot, cartwheeling up into warrior two. We're working on triangle this time, so we straighten that front leg. We're going to lean forward, tip maybe the hand is here on the shin or somewhere down towards the floor. Hips forward, shoulders back. We turn the neck, look up towards the ceiling, and one, two, three, four. Five. We bend that left knee slightly so we can bring a right hand down. Come to the ball of right foot, stepping back into plank. So here's that same challenge that we did last time. We are in plank. We're going to bring one arm down and then the other. Hanging out in plank here. This is a 20 count. I do love you. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Five, are you breathing? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Put the knees down. Let the belly roll down. Soften the feet. Sphinx. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to let the chest come down, elbows come out to the side, hands come under shoulders. Bringing those elbows in, opening through collarbones. We're going to press down through floor to come to table. From table, turn those toes coming to down dog. Bend and stretch, elongate, fill in lower back. Shake the head, no. Shake the head, yes. Bend knees, looking forward, right leg travels forward, rounding back foot. Cartwheel up into warrior two. Now from warrior two, we're straightening that front leg. Lengthen forward and tip. Hips forward, shoulders back. One, two, three. Four, five, soft bend right knee, left hand comes down. Come to the ball of left foot as we step forward, fingertips flat back. Forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Hands come down. And release. We're on that home stretch, I promise. There's only two times through now. This next time, we're going to come into our forearm, hold it, side forearm, side forearm, I know I get this pink eye, <laughs> and then back to the center. So that's what we're doing this round, and the last round, we put them all together. We shake it up. Right, here we go, inhale up, and forward fold. Fingertips flat back. And forward fold. Bend the knees. Send right foot back, grounding that right foot. We're going to cartwheel up into warrior two. We're going to practice revolved triangle. So if you have a full revolved triangle at home, you do that. We're going to do the modified version. So we straighten that front leg. Back hand, if you're doing the full version, so this is the full version, would be here. If not, we're going to do modified. So, modified is right hand comes down on the inside of left foot. Begin to try to straighten left leg, but your right hand can't come off the floor. Try to rotate until shoulders stop, and then you let your left hand lift. Hollow up the belly and breathe. Two, three, four. Five, we allow left hand to come down. Come to the ball of right foot. Step back into plank. From plank, forearm plank. 
from floor on plank. We're going to rotate and I will put my hip down. We're not going to go straight into side plank. We're going to put the hip down first, stacking the feet. We allow left leg to lift. So we're working outside of hip, but we're starting to put weight in that right shoulder without dumping out in that shoulder. So we're going to lift that left leg. One, two, three, four, five. We let that foot come down. Now we're going to bend those knees a little bit. Make sure that the elbow is right under you. Press to come up. We lift that left hand. Now, if you're feeling froggy, you can lift left leg too. One, two, three, four. Five, allow that left leg to come down. Try to make a forearm transition in the middle. So we're gonna put that left forearm down, right forearm return. So there's a small forearm plank here just for funsies. We turn that left arm, we rotate to left side, we put the hip down, right? Yay, forearm. And lift that right hip. One, try to keep the foot parallel to the floor. Two, moving and working through outside of hip, three. Where's your breath? Four, five. We allow the foot to come down. We're gonna stack the feet. Bending those knees will make this a little easier, making sure that elbow under shoulder. We press to lift up, or right leg lifts up. For funsies, we lift right leg. One, two, three, four, and five. We put that right foot down, but let's make that transition. Right forearm down. Left forearm down. So we're in a forearm plank. Put the knees down. We're rolling down. All the way to floor. Hands come under shoulders. Walk the thighs together. Small cobra here. Elbows are in. Our breath is full. <sighs> Happy time. And chest comes down. From here we press to come to table. From table, we come to down dog. Nice long stretch. And then from here, we bend those knees. Right leg travels forward. We're gonna cartwheel up into warrior two. Remember, we can do that full tr tr revolve triangle or modified. Left hand comes around for modified, coming to floor. Right hand is on your knee to try to rotate the shoulders first. Then see if you can straighten right leg. Again, modified triangle pose. Revolve triangle. Two, three, four, five. Hand slowly comes down. Bend right knee. Come to the ball of that left foot so that you can easily step forward. Fingertips flat back. Forward fold. Happy times. Looking at the knee. Maybe you shake your head no. Maybe you shake your head yes. Inhale all the way up. Hands come down. And release it up. Last one, and then Shavasana. Just saying. You're <laughs> like, but we got one more to do. <laughs> Yay for Shavasana. So this one, and pull out all the stops. We have a balance in it. We have plank, so it's gonna be plank, to side plank, to plank, to side plank, back to plank, to forearm plank, to side plank. To side plank, back, and pass out. Okay? Yay for pass out. <laughs> We've got this. So in, inhale up. I do love you guys. <laughs> inhale up. Exhale forward fold. Fingertips flat back. Forward folding. Soften the knees. Right foot comes back. Now we're on the ball of that foot. We're not grounding it because we're coming up into crescent posture. So the balance that we're going to incorporate today is warrior three, but we're not going to use the hands. So we're going to allow those hands to slowly come to heart. Step to stick. From stick, slowly we start to fold forward. And one. Two, three, four, five. Bend left knee to sit that right foot down. So once this knee is bent, back foot is down. 
We're going to allow the hands to come to the floor and then step back to clench. One, two, three, four, five. Right side plank. That means the right hand stays on the floor. We're on the outside edge of right foot. Then left hand comes up. One, two. You can put your knee down at home or here if you need to. Three, four, five. Left hand comes back down to the mat. Holding plank for one, two, three, four, five. Rotate to left side plank. Left hand is down. Stack those feet. Right hand is up. And one, two, three, four, five. Right hand comes down. We're back to plank. We're making that transition to forearm plank. So we're putting those forearms down. Remember french fries, not pizza. Holding out here. And one, two, three, four, five. Let that forearm come across. Come into a right forearm side plank. Left arm is up. If you have to put your hip down, that's okay. But if you put your hip down, lift your leg. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to come back into that forearm plank. Nice rotation here. Two, three, four, five. We're going to let that left arm rotate. Stack those feet. Right arm comes up. One, two, you got this. Three, four, five. We let that right arm come down. We come back into that forearm plank. Put the knees down. Slowly melt to floor. And put those hands into sleepover. You lie, you don't love us. I'm sorry? I said you lie, you don't love us. I do, I do love you. I did not lie. <laughs> you know how the mom, when she's going to spank the kids, not that I've ever spanked my kid, that says, Oh, this is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. <laughs> it was that. I'm laughing. Let's shake those hips from side to side. Work it out. And we're going to put those hands underneath the shoulders. Walk the thighs together, opening up through that small cobra. We want to open through the chest, through the pectorals especially through the throat, lifting collarbones. Keep those elbows in, activate hands. Slowly let that chest come down. From here, we're gonna press to table. From table to down dog. Right leg travels forward, grounding back foot. No, we don't ground foot actually, we're doing crescent. So we're on the ball of left foot as we come up. One, two, three, four, five. Hands come to the heart. Step to stick. From stick, forward folding. One, two, three, four, five. So we bend that right knee, put that foot down. Hands come back up. From here, hands float to floor. Step that left foot forward. Fingertips flat back. Ooh, that was a lot. And forward fold. Inhale all the way up. So happy we did our practice. Hands come down. <sighs> Relax that out. So we just feel those feet down into the floor, right here, right shoulder. Mm, left ear, left shoulder. back to the center. So we're going to step wide. When we step wide here, we're going to bend those knees. We're going to slowly come down into a squat. Now, while we're here at squat, we're going to take the backs of the hands, put them on the floor, kind of lean into them and stretch. That was a lot of work. We tried to divide it up with forearm so that the wrist wouldn't get too much. And just kind of sit back into that squat a little bit, making sure that you feel connected through feet, through the hips. And then we're going to extend out and sit on the butt. Hug those knees in just a bit.
And then from there, we're going to release. And there's one last pose. Um, we're not going to tell Barbara. <laughs> She's at home practicing. She knows it's coming. I'm sure she does. We're going to extend those legs. Nice stretch here. We need to open this area. We've done this. So we need to open and still be part of planks. And we would be remiss if we did not do Eastern plank. I can probably hear her screaming from here. So hands are behind you, fingertips towards butt. Pointing those toes. Now, ideally, when you lift, you should lift enough that the foot comes down completely flat. It may not happen, but that's the kind of the intention. For them to get flat, the hips need to continue to come up. So the fingertips are behind you. We're going to press and lift up. One, two, three. Open that chest. Breathe. Four. Taller, taller with the hips. Five, slowly let that booty come down. As we sit up, backs of hands stretch. And gently release. We're gonna slowly roll back. Pull those knees into the chest, a little rock from side to side. Arms come out to the side, drop the knees to the left. Bring the knees back to the center and drop them to the right. Back to the center, feet come up, grab those heels. One, two, three, four, Five, gently release. We're gonna put the bottoms of those feet flat on the floor. A little windshield wiper here to release any tension we have in the hip. Bring those legs back to parallel. Press down through feet, lifting hips. One, two, three, four, Five, slowly lowering it back down. We extend one leg and then the other. Resting down. So the hands can be on the floor, maybe on your belly, but what you do with one side you need to do with the other. Resting comfortably in one. Settling it in. Settling in with your glutes, maybe your heels. Soften that jaw. Release your feet. Your ankles. Your shin and calf. Knees and thighs. Glutes and pelvic belly. Lower back and navel. Mid back and solar plexus. Shoulder blades and heart. Lift the collarbones, lengthen the neck, and soften the face. Where's your breath? Feel that inhale, travel up back body, exhale, down front body. Inhale, up back body, exhale, down front body. Chest 
check in with the tissues of the body. <coughs> Notice the subtle changes between the beginning of the practice and now. We hold memory in our muscles. We hold emotion in our muscles, energy in those muscles, and by moving them, we can release that so sometimes things come up and just know that that's okay. And this is that place that you let them go. <coughs> so we're gonna take the time now to start moving, moving those fingers and toes. <coughs> Maybe a little bit of movement in the chest. Maybe you begin to pull one knee and then the other up, and maybe put the bottoms of the feet flat on the floor. You could get one more um, windshield wiper in here. Those are always fun. Maybe you pull the knees into your chest, little rock in the back. And then maybe you roll to the right side, taking a pause. And then eventually making your way up to a seated position. Take your time finding your breath. <coughs> we allow the head to turn to the right. We allow the head to turn to the left. back to the center. Hands come to the heart. We remind ourselves of all the amazing things we have in our life to be thankful for. We send out love and kindness and compassion to those who need it. We're going to end the practice with an om if you're comfortable, inhaling. Om. Bowing forward, namaste. Peace be with you. Go safely. And thank you for coming. Yay, yoga. Thank you guys for coming. Thank and thank you especially for coming because you knew what you were walking into and you came again. <laughs> it's okay. I hope you don't have to do your hair later. <laughs> Little T-Rex arms. I love you guys at home. Big hearts, big love from everybody in the studio to you at home. Hopefully in the fall, if all goes well, we can all be back together in the studio, but I'll still try to put a video out for you once a week. So big love. If you have ideas, comments, um, uh, maybe an, uh, a class plan of poses you'd like to work on, just send me a, a message or leave something in the comments.